G'day scrappers, plastic recycling. It's uh, been a bit of a problem for a lot of us uh, recyclers and, uh, and even scrappers. Uh, what to do with your plastic? A lot of it ends up in landfill and uh, so uh, I'm fortunate enough to have uh, a recycler that accepts my uh, plastic as well as complete keyboards because as some of you might know I don't uh, process my keyboards at the moment. Um, it's only when I'm very quiet I'll do keyboards but I'm just too busy for that. So uh, yeah, thankfully I can get rid of my plastic rather than throwing it in just a bin because uh, there's quite a lot here almost a, a cubic meter or so um, as you can imagine that takes up a lot of bin space and the whole idea of uh, recycling e-waste is to recycle so um, yeah it's really good that uh, all this kind of stuff um, is going to the right place so I thought I'd uh, since I'm taking this in to um, empty this bin out um, hopefully we can get a chance to have a look at the machine in, in process and as well as the shredder he's also got a, a metal separator so I'm hoping that that will be running and things like keyboards when they shred them up there's a little circuit board and uh, obviously a lot of screws um, that will all get separated out of the plastic which will um, end up giving them a better plastic product and um, and the, the uh, the metal that they can uh, on sell as well. So let's go and have a look at uh, this machine and uh, take this stuff in, get a fresh bin and uh, hopefully yeah we, we can see uh, the process running and how he actually shreds all this up. So it'll be cool. Wow, how's that? So that's a 
magnetic conveyor that picks up all the metal. Drops all the metal, separates the metal from the plastic. All the plastic. Wow. Magnetic separator. All the steel and this is all the plastic from keyboards my keyboards printers hard drive wow how's that hey keyboards Even mice. Wow. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. Bit of a showcase on plastic recycling. And uh, that's where all my plastic and keyboards are going. And uh, yeah, you know, it was uh, quite an amazing process. And mind you, that was only two stages of the complete process, which they're currently working on. So, so it doesn't end there. Uh, so what you saw was the keyboards and stuff being shredded initially. And you saw that really awesome magnetic conveyor that was pulling out the uh, magnetic steel over to one side and sending the plastic and the rest of the material to the other side so that's um, two products but the next step from there is that that plastic that you saw in those white bags that's going to a, another machine um, where what they're going to do there is uh, probably shred it again and then it goes through an electrical separator an eddy current separator and that's going to separate the non-ferrous metals the non-magnetic metals uh, from that plastic further on so then what happens is with that non-ferrous metal that's going to go through another process where it's going to get treated again and and they're going to get all the good product out of that the aluminium the copper and brass and whatever out of all that so um, it's a uh it's, it's only halfway what you saw, but um, they're slowly working on it as time permits because obviously they're uh, e-waste recyclers, they are uh, got a lot of things going. So um, there you go, that was quite amazing. I was really um, amazed with the, the steel separating conveyor belt, just the way it simply rolls the opposite way and picks up all the steel and... Uh, um, and, and puts it separately so uh, it's a it's a beautiful process of recycling um, something that uh, you know not many you know e-waste recyclers have the opportunity to, to do so this uh, mob that I send my uh, e-waste to and my plastic recycling you know are, are doing it the right way and um, it's a beautiful thing because uh, I, I can tell my clients that yep yeah, you know, you're giving me keyboards. I don't just take uh, off the cables and take out a bit of value out of them. I actually send those keyboards on and get them 
you know the plastic is go is going to be recycled everything is keep staying out of landfill and that's that's the whole idea of it and uh, um, if this company is getting some value out of the the product that they produce at the end well good on them because uh, um, you know probably what's more in more valuable is the fact that they're actually uh, willing to invest in machinery and um, staff hours to uh, process that kind of stuff very low value stuff but it's a very responsible way of recycling and um, you know you've got to take when it comes to e-waste recycling you've got to take the good with the bad and this company is a, a good example of that that they they're, they're not only looking for high value um, items that they can um, um, recover the precious metals from and so on um, but they're also you know looking at it in a responsible way and actually uh, not creating uh, any more issues in the environment and uh, really uh, doing justice to the, the, the clients that they, they have that are uh, relying on them to uh, do the right thing by their e-waste. So it was, um, yeah, just a, a beautiful process uh, for me because uh, e-waste is uh, not only a small business for me, it's also a, a bit of a passion, it's a hobby and I enjoy uh, every aspect of it that was uh, simply beautiful to see um, some of my keyboards actually go through that shredder and just uh, going through and being shredded up like butter. That machine also can process things like hard drives. They'll put a hard drive straight through there and it'll shred straight through. So it's a, it's a very powerful uh, shredder. It's not just for plastic. They can put different materials in at different times as they they require and uh, yeah just uh, awesome really um, really impressed with the way they uh, process that uh, plastic and uh, the fact that they're not just creating a, a shredded mix of steel and plastic and non-ferrous metals that at least at this stage they've they're taking out the 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 magnetic stuff, the steel, and um, you know, well, next stage, and I might do an update video once the uh, um, next couple of stages is up and running. That's going to take a while, like I said. They're doing it in small, uh, slow stages um, to ensure that each process is is done properly. And um, so there you go, guys. Just thought I'd throw this video in. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me what I do with my plastic, and uh, He's, um, he's basically what I do with uh, majority of my plastic anyway, the plastic that I can send away for recycling. Uh, this plastic, I don't sell this plastic or keyboards to these guys. I just, uh, I'm prepared to spend the time and take it up to them and uh, drop it off and let them handle it. And uh, at least uh, I'm conscious free. I know that they're going to do the right thing with this stuff. So keep scrapping guys, have fun. Look out for the next video and I'll catch you soon.